So we are in a real truck, not the little trucks that you're used to. And I say little trucks, and I drove here in a 2019 GMC Sierra, which is a full size. It's a half ton. It is not a small truck. It's actually a pain in the ass to park because I can't see the front tires. This, however, is significantly bigger. This is a 1949 Dodge Power Wagon that has been given a new lease on life from Jackson Hole, Wyoming's own legacy trucks. And we just came around a corner and scared the shit out of that guy in a GMC terrain. That is fantastic. Sitting here with the owner of the company, Winslow Bent. Thank you for letting us drive your vehicle. Howdy, you're welcome. This is, I can't get over when I say that this is a truck. This is a real truck. So back in the early 40s, Dodge built a military truck called the WC Series. It was a military vehicle. Uh, they made like 360,000 of them. Much like people came home from the war and wanted to ride their Harley Davidsons around, they also wanted trucks and Dodge was paying attention. So the WC Series military truck became the power wagon and they started shipping those out in 1946 all the way up through 1981 until Lee Iacocca wisely decided to stick the Ram mascot back on the nose of the Dodge Ram, and he helped turn that company around, which is what Lee Iacocca did back in the day. But what Winslow Bent is doing is turning these magnificent beasts out for well-to-do badasses, I think is an appropriate term. That sounds about right. These are trucks that are meant to do work. The owner of this vehicle tows with it, and he drives it in the snow, and he does all kinds of kick-ass things in his beautiful, expensive, wonderful beast of a machine. And it's actually really comfortable. Uh, we have a vintage air system set up here. It's blowing cold air on my finely coddled booty, which is sitting in a very comfortable chair, which is also a heated chair. Uh, but Winslow thought about the person who would do work in something like this. So all of the switches are easy to operate with gloves on. They're marine switches for the windows, uh, air compressor, all that good stuff. It's, it's a column shift. It's a real easy four speed. Uh, up front, we have a Dana 60 axle. Out back, we have a Dana 80 axle. There's a new process transfer case, but the big news, which you can probably hear whistling away, is what's going on under the hood. That is a 5.9 liter Cummins turbo diesel in line six. And it's actually turned down, which is smart because I don't want to wreck somebody's beautiful machine, but it is turned down and it is only making 350 horsepower and 600 pound-feet of torque. There we go. It's a diesel, so when it gets up into the rev range, it kind of does what a diesel does, but when you pull away, it, it goes. When you floor it, it, I mean, it just, there's so much a surge of energy, it just goes. The transmission is nice and smooth. It has fantastic brakes, so the stopping power is there as well. And you're gonna need that stopping power because the rotating mass at each corner is big. 17 inch beadlock wheels wrapped around 40 inch Toyo Open Country mud terrain tires. And Honestly, if you went with a smaller tire, as ridiculous as that sounds, it wouldn't fill the wheel well as well as it does here. <laughs> Up front, it's about a two inch lift with king coilovers, a remote reservoir suspension. Out back, it's Bilstein's and there's no lift back there. The stance is right. Now, even more fascinating that I've come to find out with this truck, it did not start life as a four door. This was a two door. This was a regular cab truck and they welded on an entire extra section of the cab. This truck just pulled out in front of us and then got the hell out of the way when they heard and saw us coming. Now, a vehicle like this, as you probably guess, does not come cheap, nor should it. The labor alone is six figures worth of work. If you want a legacy truck's power wagon of your own, a regular cab build will start at right around $200,000. This one is $318,000. And when I first hear that number, I go, holy shit, that's a lot of money for an old truck. But then I think about the time we live in right now. So many people have no problem buying a $100,000 car as their daily driver. Is this two to three times more special than that? There's no question that it is. And then the price starts to make sense. And you think about the man hours that went into it. And, the, and then the leather straps on the hood and the comfortable seats and all the other stuff. This isn't just throwing bolt-ons at an old truck and cleaning up the paint. This is reworking the bed, welding on a whole new second half of the cab and making this so that it is amazingly awesome to look at and it works too. If I was a badass wealthy dude, like I said before, and I had a, a country house out in Jackson Hole or in Colorado Springs, maybe in Telluride or something like that, or in Tahoe, since we can keep it in California, would I have one of these on my property to do awesome snowy stuff? No question about it. And you don't need to go with a diesel if you get sick of hearing that turbocharger, which you're crazy, but it's because it sounds awesome. You can do 6.2 liter V8s. There's an LSA option, I think, for this. 
which then you can hear a supercharger. Uh, there's a lot of uh, gearbox and engine options to suit the truck that you want. They will work with you. You tell them, I really like a big badass truck and here's what I want to go in it. I think they're gonna find a way to make it happen. You can jump on LegacyClassicTrucks.com and poke around on our website and you can get on there and build your own dream vehicle. And if it's something that you want to purchase, you can just send us an inquiry through the website. Currently, it takes about two years to build a truck. There's about six month wait until we can start the work. And then it takes about 18 months to build one of these things. Because honestly, there is almost 3,000 man hours in this build. That's crazy. See, there's where the price, just from the man hours alone, it starts to make sense. Think of what a shop rate would be on something like this, and then the time to do it. And, and now the numbers start to click off in your head. You go, oh, okay, I get it. Winslow, thanks for letting us cruise around in this thing. Hey, absolutely. It's been a pleasure. I'm glad you could uh, come out and check this thing out. They're, uh, they're a lot of fun, and uh, they're pretty rare. We've only built, uh, I think this is number 106. So this is the 106th power wagon conversion that we've done. Uh, what other vehicles do you guys work on? We love our old trucks, uh, particularly defunct brands like Studebakers, Diamond Tees. Uh, we've come out with a Chevy Napco. I which saw is, that. Uh, uh, a tribute to the classic Tri-5 Chevys, but uh, unlike most guys that slam them down to the ground and make them into street rods, we offer ours in a 4x4. Yeah. And uh, I saw a video of it. You guys are ripping around in it. Yeah, and, they're, and, and they're a ton of fun. Yeah. It's, uh, it's the 1950s version of a Raptor. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> they're, uh, they're, they're, they're great fun. Feel free to, uh, uh, yeah, check out the website. And next time you're in Jackson Hole, please look us up. I will do that. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Take it easy. There you go. You want to try something fun, press the fifth gear lockout. Now press tow haul. Now you'll get direct drive and feel the exhaust brake and you let off oh, the yeah. accelerator. The that's exhaust brake that's awesome. To slow you down. So this is, I mean, it's a true work truck. We're not joking about that. You can seriously tow with this. You can seriously haul. It feels like a big rig with shit tons more style, way more comfort, and just a ton more fun. 